Hi, I'm Corey Morell, and I'm an assistant curator here at the Field Museum of Natural History in the Department of Zoology, and I study the evolutionary history of ants. And although most people think of ants as pests in their gardens and backyards, and sometimes at their picnics, ants actually have a lot of beneficial values in the environment. They turn more soil than earthworms, um, and have many associations with other plants and animals. They also disperse seeds, and in particular in Australia and 35% of all herbaceous plant seeds are dispersed by ants. Um, in many situations, ants can even be used as bioindicators and sometimes as biocontrol. So citrus farmers in Australia often use ants to control other pests on their plants. So they'll move ant nests into the trees so that the ants will then keep all of the other sort of pest insects off of the trees. And in some situations, people have been able to use ants as bioindicators so they can use them to measure the health of an ecosystem. By going in and describing what ant species are found there, they can look at the effects of human encroachment and human disturbances to see how humans are impacting the native animals and plants in an area and use ants as the indicators for that. So one of the things that I've been doing in Australia is going in and measuring not just the diversity of ants there, but also trying to look at how um, they've changed through time by using their DNA. And so what I hope to gain through understanding how they've changed through time is how past climatic conditions have affected where ants are found currently and how that's affected their genetic diversity.